On today's Domain Sherpa Review, the Sherpas talk about walrus.com and interspace.com, including how much they paid or received for them, a portfolio that is ranked as a favorite investor portfolio of domain names is evaluated, and some great brands like fancyfree.com, pinksalmon.com, and traffic.com are heading to auction soon. Hear what Shane Coltra, Larry Fisher, and Drew Rosner think are winners and losers in auction this week. Plus, hear all about my visit to Shane's nursery in Illinois, and one of us sings the best song ever about GDPR and the end of the who is as we know it. Stay tuned. Hey, Sherpa Network. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Tess Diaz, executive producer of DomainSherpa.com, and this is the Domain Sherpa Review. This is a show where we get into the minds of successful domain name investors using real examples so we can learn strategies and tactics to become better investors ourselves. We have three segments to the review. We'll start off learning what the Sherpas recently bought or sold. Next, we'll discuss in value an investor submitted domain name portfolio. And finally, we'll preview some names going to auction soon at namejet.com and whether the Sherpas think they're a good investment opportunity for you. Joining us today on the Domain Sherpa Review are three past Sherpas and industry thought leaders. Larry Fisher, hi Larry, CEO of GetYourDomain.com, a domain brokerage and consulting firm. Shane Coltra, publisher of the blog DSAD.com and owner of the Country Arbors Nursery in Urbana, Illinois, which I visited two days ago. And Andrew Rosner, CEO of domain brokerage firm MediaOptions.com. Sherpas, welcome. Thanks, guys. Hi, Jess. Thanks, Larry. It's great to have you on. It's been a while. Oh, thank you for having me back. I appreciate it. Well, we appreciate you remodeling the office just oh, for our you. viewers' pleasure. Of course. I wanted to make it look good. And uh, I know Shane commented on the facts that we have. So, uh, you know, as I did tell him, we upgraded from the Roly facts to the... <laughs> Those offers are coming in. The best offers always come through facts. That's a known <laughs> fact in the, the industry. Nice, nice. Well, I I'm did glad. an awful lot of uh, fish business over the fax machine. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did like a thousand faxes a day or something, Drew. Yeah, I mean, essentially, it was like the equivalent of what I do in email now. But I was nobody in the fish business at that point was on email. It was all fax. So. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I was, yeah, probably not a thousand, but, I, but hundreds of faxes a day for sure. Is that um, your experience, Larry? Uh, yeah, those hundreds of offers come through daily on the fax. You know, finally I got to get new paper, you know, so new ink and we'll see what happens. But it's, it's a, it's a secret. Don't tell anyone else. I'm the only one who get fax offers these days. Okay. And may, maybe we should, uh, you know, put in a little, little Amazon link on the side selling fax machines on. <laughs> yeah. On I like that. I like that. No. Hey, the uh, case I, don't know, I, I don't know if you guys remember, do you remember when great domains had their first big auction and drugs.com? I think no, was it drugs or um, I'm trying to remember the main name that sold. I think it was drugs and it was done through fax bids. And did you bid on it with that machine, Larry? No, I, I didn't bid on it. That's not that, that machine now is the Hall of Fame of domainers at uh, Rick Schwartz's house, I guess. That was the, but that was before uh, Sato bought great domains, right? Yep, 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 yep. Way back then, yes. Okay, so coming out of 1990, let's go into uh, part one, what's new Sherpas, um, where the Sherpas share one purchase or sale you've made in the past few weeks, and we get to learn what you paid or received for the domain, why you thought it was a good deal, and how the negoti negotiations progressed. Um, I'm gonna lead you through the questions and then the other Sherpas get to comment uh, later during the process as well. This segment will go Larry, then Shane, then Drew. Um, so Larry, what's one name you personally bought or sold in the past few weeks? Tell us the domain uh, name and not the price yet. Well, uh, I'll tell you an name we just brokered. Uh, it's closed yesterday, interspace.com. Oh, nice. Ooh. Yeah interspace.com i like it hmm what else would you like to know <laughs> nothing yet right now well it's time for us to go i'll go first um well if larry sold it you know it's good money he doesn't give anything away he's got to pay he's got ink to pay for so 
we know that it went for it's got to go for five feet uh enter space um i will just say forty thousand dollars it's a tough one i really it's a tough, i mean that's a great market it, it could be a huge company and be triple that but um i'm just gonna i'll throw that number out there okay Drew? i i i don't think Larry would sell it for that or have gotten involved in brokering it. If That's it was true. Be, too. Yeah. I, if it was going to be only a $40,000 sale. So I'm going to say, I think the value is probably around there 50 to a hundred grand if you got the right buyer. But I think I'm going to say, I'm going to say 150,000. Um, wow. I should have kept you first. Just joking. All right, I'm going to revise to 125. <laughs> <laughs> Just with a laugh. <laughs> so, so Larry, before you tell us the price, I'm going to ask, were, um, was it an acquisition or was, were you selling on behalf, seeking was, an outbound sale? I was selling on behalf. I can tell you the first offer from these people came in. Uh, I'll give you the exact date it came in. January 2nd, 2015. Oh, Wow. Months. For three thousand dollars, three years, three. Well, a lot of deals I do yeah. are long term. I mean, um, there, there are people that want these things, and if you know, if you do not have to sell, and if you're not going to sell at a at a ridiculous price, you hold on, and negotiations do take time. I, I, I tell a lot of people, I say a good portion of them take more than six months, take more than a year. I've had deals close three years, four years. But you also, if you're dealing with a client, you have to be a client you can trust because they can't yeah. go from broker to broker and broker. And exactly. Thankfully, I've dealt with a number of people who are long-term clients and they yeah. see what I've done and they appreciate the fact that I just don't want to sell for the sake of making uh, a sale. I want to sell yeah. for the best possible price. And uh, I feel we got the best possible price on this domain. That, that's a, a phenomenal point. I mean, it's what I try to preach all the time is like, you know, if you, you know, you, if you come to a broker, whether right. it's you or me or anybody mm -hmm. else, and you say, well, you know, I want to get the, you know, I'm, I'm shooting for the moon here. Uh, and you say, well, okay, you know, I, I need at least six months to, to flush this thing out. And then we'll see where we stand in six months. And if you feel I'm doing a good job, let's renew, et cetera. And they, oh, no, that's way too long. I'll give you 30 days. I'll give you 60 days. I'll give you 90 days. And it's like, buddy, we're just, we're not aligned here. Like, right. It, you want to sell this thing in, in 30 to 90 days? Right. That's a wholesale sale in most right. cases. Like, so that it's a really good point. But I, I, I just, you know, I ask for people that trust right. giving the domain to the best party, you know, whoever they got the best relationship with or whoever they feel is the best right. broker for that particular domain. And they need to give them the football and let them run with it, you know, for as long as it takes to get that sale, unless something, you know, something right. new one develops. Gotcha. I totally agree. I mean, usually if I take a new client and I, I very rarely do, but when I do take new clients, uh, I insist on a minimum of a year. And that's usually my contract is a year and I get it because if yep. people, and they're very happy for the most part. So. Yeah. And Larry, yeah. this is where a broker really can add value because most domain investors are not going to spend three years cultivating a relationship with a $3,000 offer. They're going to assume it isn't worthwhile or follow up once or twice, but um, this is this is why you do what you do. So yeah. interspace.com. Right. Dun, dun, dun. How much? Uh, $136,410. Wow. <laughs> what was it? Did somebody owe somebody a dinner? $410? <laughs> What's the tail on there for? Uh, basically... It's, no, no, it's part, partly the negotiation and uh, having to come down a certain percentage, go up a certain percentage, and that's just what the number it hit and was agreed upon. So, uh, very, that's a very good one. I mean, it's, it's a great name, though. Yeah, you got, you got 100% of that value. 100%. Thank you, sir. I appreciate yeah. that. Excellent name. Well Thank done, you. Larry. Kudos. Thank you, Tess. Yeah. yeah. Shane, you got one to share or you got nursery sales going like crazy today? No, no I was going to say, you know, I've been, I've been buying some here and there, but it's four letter dot coms or dot IOs. We've talked enough about those, nothing too exciting there. So I sold a lot of 
plants, but not as big <laughs> as I'd like. You saw how cold it was in Urbana. It's still ridiculous, but uh, it heats every time the sun comes out. I'm busy. So really, this is my slower time. This is when my bankroll builds up a little bit because I'm just too, I don't feel comfortable buying names. You know, and a lot of people see something, they pull the trigger real quick. I, I do that sometimes, but I, I generally, unless I've researched and checked things out, I don't like buying stuff and it gets a little harder this time of year working seven days a week. I work six, the next 60 days straight with no days off. So it's, wow. it's kind of brutal. And I'm a little tired at night. I don't make the best decisions when I'm exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> Shane, you know, not only on behalf of, you know, me and Drew um, running the show, but um, the entire Sherpa Network, thank you. You know, it was really neat to see you two days ago, um, snow in mid-April um, aside, oh, and to snow. see your world. It was snowing, yeah. Um, it was freezing. Um, and um, it, uh, now, now in my head, I want to go show you the giant fur thing I had on my head. <laughs> uh, but really, Shane runs this big, beautiful nursery. How many acres? Just the one, but you run how many? Yeah, I mean, we've got a total of 140 acres in plants and greenhouses. Wow. I mean, he's not kidding. He's showing me like tractors and fields full of trees that are being pulled up to be sold and 40 greenhouses on your one property? On the one property, yeah. And that's the I mean, I think, that too, I, I think that's my role here is that, you know, you guys both are top brokers in the world, but, but I'm kind of here to show that, you know, there's a lot of people that have another life out there that have to earn income to pay the bills, but there's still a huge opportunity in domain investings on the side. And you can, um, you know, you just got to put in the work, you got to mm -hmm. do your job, then you come home and you put in that extra work. You still work full time at night, but you're still, you know, you're still working there. So. Uh, that's kind of what I do, and I. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what she was wearing. She looked like she was a Russian woman coming to visit me. <laughs> do you know Trump? Yeah. It's cold. Exactly. It was as cold as Russia. <laughs> You're right, Shane. You know, um, demeanors aren't all doing this full time, and it's super cool that you yeah. do what you do and you take what you know and love. Like he's shown me all these plants, and he's like, "This is a. I'm sorry. This is a blah blah." And he's like, "I own blah blah dot com." And yeah. And I, it was so cool. And you could see, say something smarter than me. Uh, one of the- Well, I just showed you the coleus house. Like we have a whole house de dedicated to one plant and I, ha I have coleus.com and I showed you the tropical plants and I have tropicalplants.com. So, I mean, you I have, have all the I showed you. Yeah. That's a nice one. I think right. actually, no, no, no. It's, I, I called it, it's foliage plants, but that's what the section's called is foliage because it's foliage yeah. based, but- uh, anyway, yeah, no, I just think that it was nice to see somebody because I talk about this all the time, obviously, but you got to see what it means and what I do. And uh, you can do two things and love both things. And it, but I, I start at 4 30 in the morning and I end at nine every single day, nonstop. And you, but you can see that the only way to do it is to love it. So. Yeah, and you can see that you love it. And on a total different note, Shane, you have like the whitest, most beautiful teeth ever. And I believe it's because you, um eat uh, you said you eat a salad every day with all your own vegetables that you yeah i do grew. i do i can't pick up my own you know the funny thing is is um i don't know what it is but i think i'm blessed with my mom's genetics but my, i went to the dentist yesterday and and he said uh are you telling everybody your teeth are white because of me and i go well, I, I don't i think it's because i just in sun i'm gonna have skin cancer and beautiful white teeth, all because of the sun. So, yeah, there's there's give and takes of being in the sun all day, but it does make your teeth pretty. It just gives you skin cancer at the same time. So, yeah, no, it's appreciate again, again, I appreciate you coming out there. I love for people to see what I do, but again, the message is, man, you you can you can make a lot of money in domains, and for some people, it's not best to quit their jobs. They they might not be quite good at it enough to put the pressures of selling domains. Now, I fully if you if you love something go in and go hard but but at the same time for it's not for everybody make your make your living pay your bills build do your career and then hit domains on the side and i prove that it can be done but it you got to put in the time it's any, like anything if you want to be good or at least make money you have to work hard and, but you can do that anytime it's the beauty of the internet so i'll leave it at that that's cool thanks shane and thanks again seriously for for taking time out of your busy day um all the time not just today um no, thank you yeah, Drew, what do you got? Uh, what's the name you bought or sold? Uh, all right, I'm going to talk about why I didn't actually want to talk about this one, but uh, well, I just didn't really want to reveal the price I paid, but uh, <laughs> I don't have another one to talk about. 
Um, I have another one, but it's going to close today, and I don't want to talk about anything that's not. It's okay. We'll film again. <laughs> so, all right, walrus.com. Nice. Buy or sell? Buy. Walrus.com. You lucky dog. <laughs> It's a, it's like a dream. Lucky I love walrus. those kind of names. If you're gonna throw an animal in there, Shane. Oh, it's, I just love animal names. I mean, they're just such fantastic brands, fantastic brands. And I know Drew likes animals too, though, or at least he yeah. does lately. He's uh, oh, let Larry go first. I always go. I always look like a fool and go too low. Let Larry go first. No, no I mean, it's always tough when a domainer's or somebody with Drew's. Uh, ability uh, to guess what he pays because usually he's able to come in and do it at a reasonable, a much more reasonable amount. Um, the name is a six figure name, um, obviously, but I, I think that uh, Drew probably got it. Um, my best guess for Drew, 55,000. All right, that's about a thousand dollars per letter. Yeah, the only question I have is, was it? Did the Booth brothers bring it? No, no, okay. they did not bring this one. Mm -mm. Okay, that makes a difference. I guess that's cheating, but uh, that's a really good guess. I mean, for a major can't misspell it name. Um, and I, again, same with Drew. I mean, I think anybody would pull the trigger even more than that, but. Uh, I'll just say 45,000 because Drew can negotiate with the best. Yeah. But Drew said he would- Actually, you know what? I, I lied. Actually, this did come from James Booth. I lied. Uh, okay. So oh, I actually did. thought this came from somebody else, but it did. This one did come from James Booth. So, so, so what are you going down to now, Shane? I'm going up to 62 because oh. Booth's got to take my piece <laughs> off the top. I'll, I'll say 60. I'll say 60. I really am raising it with the with the other side of it. It has to pass through a couple of hands. Are you okay. are you changing your price, Larry? Yeah, I'm up to sixty. Uh, no, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. All okay. right. So, uh, Larry is bang on fifty five thousand dollars on the nose. Wow. What? I think that might be the first time that's ever happened on the show. Actually, yeah. do, do, do I win a prize? You <laughs> You'll get a mark. Larry, you <laughs> do. We'll announce gonna, it next week. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna send you. Uh, we're gonna send you a domain shirt from Mug. He already has one. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. Oh, we are sending you a mug because you got the right answer. Thank That's you. Exactly Thank right. you. <laughs> so um, yeah, so you know, not a lot of uh, uh, color to provide on this one, but. You know, I, I particularly, I do have a fondness for the animal.com domains in general, because I agree with Shane, they make great brands. But I have a particular fondness for walrus.com because I'm a huge Beatles fan, and there's a big, you know, Beatles connotation there with the walrus is Paul. Here's another clue for you all. So, uh, I, I, you know. Sing it. No, I'm not. No, I'm going to spare the audience, but we'll lose like 30% visitor. Uh, visitors if i if i start singing on the show um so yeah but i i'm i'm impressed larry hit it right in the head thank you sir do you think with the walrus connotation that that will have more value for the domain name do you think potential no. buyers are branding there's like probably i'm the only human being on the earth that finds <laughs> any value to any of these weird quirky reasons why I buy some of these names. There's, there's nobody else that cares. Well, doesn't yeah. seem like uh, Larry or Shane think so. If, would, you yeah, guys, would you guys have paid that much for it? Well, uh, the first thing I'll say is, as soon as I heard Walrus, the first thing I think about is the Beatles. Yeah. Also, I'm the Walrus. You know, that's, that's just, you know, part of that, you know, I guess generation or whatever. But uh, uh, I, I think it was a fair, I was thinking it was a very good price. Like I said, I think it's a six-figure name. Yeah, no, that's an easy, a six-figure name. Easy, easy. So, yeah, anything under that, you know, there's – just depends how long you want to wait to get – double it, triple it up. But, yeah, that's a great name. And, again, there's just so many – so few animals left. <laughs> it's just getting less and less. And eventually they'll all be used in huge brands and there'll be none. Yeah. So it's just a matter of time till they're all gone because eventually a big enough brand buys it and it, it will and not be – You know – Chris, uh, Chris Zyker, who's a, our lead broker at Media Options, 
published an article. I don't know if he put it on MediaOptions.com or if it's on his LinkedIn, but he talked about um, you know ba- you know owning a namespace. That 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 a lot of times you know you're talking to a company, you're trying to sell them a domain name, and they're like, oh, we're okay with our domains, and it's like, well, you're not really. I mean, you know, I think he you, he was talking about Purple.com and how there's it's like five major companies, all with public, you know, either public or, or venture funding and that are calling themselves some version of purple and the, the mattress company, which is relatively new. I think it's a two year old startup bought purple.com now. And, and that's it lights out on the purple brand. I mean, anybody who's not purple.com now will gradually be diminishing their brand value. Mm -hmm. And with every dollar that they spend, marketing and advertising their brand, a small portion of that with every dollar spent will go to purple.com. And not just in traffic and visitors, but in, in retention, in, in mind share. And you know, you're just enhancing the value of the name purple and the guy who owns purple.com is getting every single, you know, dollar that yep falls out of that funnel. So Drew, you're um, absolutely right. And actually, um, Chris is going to join us on Domain Sherpa. Um, we're filming tomorrow about that. So, cool. um, so that was a great, great lead in. Awesome. That's great. Yeah. I didn't even, I didn't know that. Uh, even if it looked like that may have been scripted, I did not know that. Um, <laughs> I was trying to but, cut you off but, before you said the whole show yourself. <laughs> yeah, but that, I, I think that's great because um, it, it was, it was actually something, you know, that I had sort of thought of but he, he put it into words that I think was very easy for people to digest. And, and I already started, like, I just point people to it, like, you know, read this. This is why you're wrong. You need to own this domain. And um, I think there's, there's only one. There's the only examples one. help to concrete examples instead of just an idea, you know? Yep. Um, and it is true, like, anyone can say, hey, go read this blog, you know? So anyone, if in our, the Sherpa Network, you're trying to buy or sell or explain to your friends why you do this, um, you know, that's, that is, that's a great article. Um, so, um, thank you, Sherpas. I'm really impressed, Larry, the grand Oh, thank you very much. Um, I'm going to take a moment, tell y'all about, um, our sponsors for today's show who support us in our mission to educate people in the domain name industry. First, serious about online trading, secure your funds, keep your merchandise safe and use a company that keeps the buyer and seller protected the whole way through. That's escrow.com. Payments you can trust. All right. In the domain portfolio review, we take user-submitted domain name portfolios and provide honest and constructive feedback to the owners so they can either cut their losses, continue to hold them long-term, or figure out a sales strategy um, moving forward. So today, Gary Larson um, made a generous donation um, and um, to, I'm so sorry, this is our first time having a donation, and I'm not ready, um, to the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research. Um, and um, and um, we really appreciate that donation, Gary. And um, we want to check out these domains and chat through them. Um, Sherpas, you each got to see them. It's an all.com list. Um, Shane, you're up first. What do you think? What, you know, pick out what, what you yeah, think no, of I, the I think overall just- strategy. I think that that ninety percent of these names, if the price was right, I would buy some of these names, which I, I don't think I've said that ever. Um, so it's a it's a pretty good list. They're not the greatest <coughs> names on earth, but again, at the right price, many of these names I would would uh, look at. I did a little homework too. I know I've seen a lot of these names because I scanned the auctions every single day, and when I saw. A couple of these, I know I'd seen them before. So we'll start with the basketball fan and football fan. I think they're great names. I think it's really difficult to have those kind of sports names and not infringe. So, you know, everybody's NBA and uh, Major League Baseball. So to have a generic name sometimes gets too generic. Uh, and these maybe a little bit on the generic side. I mean, I know you can have, uh, you know, some of the most biggest uh, sports are – you know, but as a dead spin, you know, they have brand names on things right. that, that don't tell you exactly what they do in the title. So I don't know that it's necessary, but I know, for instance, on um, football fan, he paid 4,800. I assume that was him. It, it sold for $4,800 recently in the fall at Namejet. 
$4,800 for me is not really where I want to be on a name like that. I don't think it's a, a bad name, but at $4,800, now we're talking fifteen to $20,000. Um, to me, that's a little tough on that side. So it really comes down to how much they pay. Basketball fan was a little less at $1,700. So I think they're, they're good names, but I think the wholesale is getting a little up there on those names. Um, I, I'm a specialist in the 24C type category. I will say they do not sell very well as end users. You do every once in a while. But what I found though over time is they seem to increase in value. I've never ever lost money on a number number letter.com and I've sold dozens of them. I've never lost money. The only one I've ever lost is when I went and repriced my after Nick a couple of months ago for 90 X instead of 50,000, I priced it at 500 and it sold in two minutes. And I oh, never man. gave the name back. And I just spent six thousand dollars on it two months before that. So, oh, yeah, what a bummer! It, yeah, it was. Uh, and there's nothing you can do about it on a fast transfer. Do not price your portfolio and put it up there without double. I did it in a spreadsheet and a couple digits off. And I, I'm not kidding you. The second I upload it. I get an email. Congratulations. Your get name is gone forever. Oh man. Uh, yeah. So I know all about them. I've lost a couple. I probably lost more money on that than most people, but I have a lot of them. I do well with them. Uh, I, they always go up in value. They're just short and branded and enough people buy them. So they keep on there. And 24 C is a nice one. Normally people say a four is no good Two in front of four and four before eight seem to be just fine. And, uh, 24, like 24, 365, exactly. and 360, mm -hmm. uh, they like that. Periods yep. of time, endless, uh, That those do well in Asia. So 24C is a really nice name, and I think if he auctioned it tomorrow, he could get 2,500 to 6,000, depending on the day and the action. Uh, mm -hmm. But I think he easily could get 2,500 tomorrow for it. Uh, the other couple, the, the names that I liked, and I'll leave some for them. I thought Traffic Cop was great. Traffic Cop's just a great brand. So many uses. Uh, I mean, data, internet traffic, just a lot of great uses. I, I think that's. I don't see why he can get thirty to seventy-five thousand if the right buyer came around. It's just a really solid brand. Slingback, I like, but it gets back to Drew. Sling is taken. And when people think of, you can be slinked back and there's other names, but when somebody builds a big brand, we've argued about Uber before, there's a million companies with Uber. You ask anybody about a name with Uber in it, the first thing they're going to think of is not you. So uh, that hurts sling back a little bit, but I do like that name. And I like pink salmon. Nobody, I think they can smell salmon. You know, there's some words with some silent G's like lasagna that I think that they could figure it out. But Pink Salmon sold for 600. I thought that was a pretty good buy. I think you'd get three, 4,000, 5,000 for it as a brand. Great logo. When I think of a name as a brand, the first thing I think is how easy is it to draw the logo? If you can think of a logo in five seconds, when you say a domain name, it's a good domain name. That's really what I think. So, uh, and I like farmland.net. It's one of the few, .net's a tough sell, but if you have a farmland and, Tess, you can attest to it. There's a hell of a lot of farmland around this country. Uh, and there's enough that a .NET has some value that goes right on a sign, right out in front of all these acres. So I think that's a ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 name and easy, as easy as a .NET too. So that's it. Thanks, Shane. Well done. Sure appreciate all the research you put into that. Um, yeah, good. good uh... well, you guys were late today. You gave me like eight minutes to start looking at stuff. That's just... <laughs> Oh, all right, Drew, you're up. You Got to catch up. Okay, so, um, you know, he touched on a lot of the ones that I like as well. Um, but I think actually um, my favorite name is joyrider.com, um, which he didn't mention. I, I, you know, not a lot of search, low Estabot appraisal, low CPC, um, but it does look like it's got some traffic and that's sort of, that's always my first indication that, you know, a name has value because again, even though my appraisal method takes primarily into account search volume as an indicator of like use in commerce, use in culture, traffic is the greatest indicator. If, that, if a name's got traffic, that means it's stuck in people's heads. So, um, 
I, I like Joyrider a lot. I think, um, I think that has a, a ton of different applications. I think it could be a movie name. I think it could be a product. I think it could be a service. I think it could be, you know, the next Uber for scooters. It could be, um, you know, it could be a million different things. It could be a, a brand of wakeboard, surfboard. It, you know, there's just a million different things that, that that name could be. I like it a lot. I think that's my favorite name on the list. I like but don't you think Joyride would take away from everything? Like that R really hurts it. You buy Joyride and you kill that. Yeah. That, that, I mean, that's, that's a very good point. That's a very good point. Um, Joyride is definitely the better name. Although, you know, I think it depends on the application in the end. Um, but if somebody built a big brand on Joyride, then yes, I think you would have a hard time on Joyrider. Um, that's true. Um, the other name that I like is fancyfree.com. Uh, you know, it's one of those just great brands that I, I, I would price in a fifteen dollars to $25,000 range. And, and, you know, eventually I think you'd get it. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, Farmland was the other one that I was going to bring up. I, I, I agree that even though it's .NET and .NET is, is very hard to sell these days, Farmland is, is big business. I mean... Uh, those are big deals. That means big commissions. Um, and there is a lot of farmland to be sold and farmland is becoming increasingly popular as just an investment vehicle. So a lot more people are getting into the farmland game just as a place to put cash. Um, even Warren Buffett. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll let Larry take it from there. Um, there, there there's a bunch of, you know, what I will say is there really is that it's a great list. There's very few names on this list that I'd be like, Oh, you know, that's crap. Um, I think the only name that I wouldn't renew necessarily is the dog breeds. Like I'm not sure what you're going to do with the dog breeds. Um, you know, even dogbreed.com, I, I, I would say is like a, you know, it's a four figure name. Right. So the dog breeds, I, I just, I don't know what you're ever going to get for that. Um, what would you do with robot mediator? That's the other I, one. I don't know. <laughs> so, I don't know. Okay. I rule for your wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, as Drew said, it's, it's, it's a nice list of names. Uh, the three that I thought uh, stood out to me were, uh, like Shane, Traffic Cop, I thought was a really good brandable name for a lot of things in the tech business. Uh, you know, you, you think of that traffic cop, you think of it as, you know, it could be a security program, uh, it could be analytics of uh, various uh, pay-per-click. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, it's just so, there's a number of different avenues that, that a company can go with that. Uh, so that was a really good brand. brand. Um, I thought that uh, the other, two that stood out like drew uh i'm sorry uh yeah fancy free uh that was actually the first one that popped in my head when i was looking at the list and i said you know and that and like drew it, a lot of times it's just looking at the name before you do any ana analytics and that it just popped in i thought that's also uh, a name that would sell i think it would sell a little higher than than drew had mentioned but uh, um but i think it's i think it's a good name uh that from the list and the other ones that I thought, uh, well, uh, I thought farmland, as, as uh, both of the guys said, there's a ton of farmland, even though it's a .NET. Uh, .NETs sell not as great as they used to. I know Drew's familiar with the .NET type sales that uh, yeah. we've been involved in. And, uh, you know, so uh, they're not as large as they used to be, but uh, yeah. they still happen. They still happen. Um, and I think that uh, the other ones that the other one that I, I, I thought that 24C just being short, memorable was something that uh, gave it an added bonus. And I think that um, I know uh, Shane is more up to date on the what those go for, but I just thought it was a, as a short names and the dot com is something that I always that I always like. Thank you, Larry. Yeah. That's, if there are one name you let go, um, what would it be besides the dog breeds? Uh, robot mediator. I yeah. cannot understand. I do not understand that. And 
I, I didn't understand app prize. Is there, I mean, I get app and I get prize. Well, because, well, I guess I don't know if the word a prize has two P's or not, but to, <laughs> you know, if somebody is a prize of something, it's like they're aware. Uh, yeah. But I don't know if you spell that with one P or two. Yeah. Two. Um, I was surprised, but I think it's an S, not a Z. Um, but I was surprised nobody mentioned wholeweek.com. Oh, also, I didn't go to the second page. <laughs> yeah, I actually was going to mention whole week, but then I, I didn't want to like take up everything. I, leave, I wanted to leave something for Larry. But yeah, whole week, whole week's another great name. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's, a, that's a really good. Uh, I'm with you, Shane. It was on my second page. So, <laughs> <laughs> that, Oops, I forgot. See, that's a very important lesson. A lot of people realize, like, especially even auctions, a lot of times you're looking at names and you, you forget about there's other ones there. It's just not, you know, right in front of you. Sometimes you got to keep looking. So, you know, always stay on top of things. You're, you're going to miss it. You're gonna I got a great story. I, I went to this auction one time and it was all this great stuff and greenhouses and all these things. And on the second page was pallets of these pots and every single pot on the pallet was $5. If anybody was going to buy it online and there were a thousand pots on this giant pallet. And nobody saw the second sheet. Everybody went home. I was the only one there. I bought the entire pallet of ten thousand dollars worth of pots for ten dollars times. Nice. Oh my god! Nice. Times three what? for thirty dollars. I got thirty thousand dollars worth of pots because they made one extra sheet instead of shrinking the font on the auction. Wow, that's a huge lesson from both of you. Thank you. Yeah. And you know, Shane, earlier you said PinkSalmon.com. You could immediately see it, see the logo for it. I actually, you know, same thing with Traffic Cop and Whole Wheat, obviously. I mean, boom, you got an image in your head. You're not going to mix it up and say, what was that? You know, enriched flour. You know, it's done. You got it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, I mean, Whole Wheat's great. People say, well, what is Whole Wheat? Nothing. That's why it's fantastic. It can be anything you want. It doesn't bring anything to your mind. Now it's your turn. Make it something that it brings to your mind. That's your job as a yeah, brand. Yeah, what does it connote? In general, I agree, but Whole Wheat's yeah. a little too... No, and I'm not I saying think, you're going to... I think you're going to have a hard time branding that outside the healthy food space. It's, it's no, too granular? I, said. <laughs> I mean, Whole Wheat bread shop... It's going to be food. Undoubtedly, it's going to be. It's not going to be a bicycle yeah. place, but it's, it's, but it's going to be still health-related. That's yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're not going to misspell it. So true. But no, you got, you guys got a great list. I mean, you know, well done, Gary. You're not, you know, it probably is one of the best, if not the best, list that we've had. You know, as a submitted domain Sherpa review, um, and uh, yeah, I think I think he's going to do just fine. Yeah, I think I work. I think I work with Gary. Now that I think about it, I forgot. I, every time I see his name, I think of the cartoonist that spelled the other way that does the far side. So yeah, I think I've worked with him before. Uh, I know I have. So yeah, yeah he's, he's, he's done well. He's, he's acquired all these through working hard. This is fairly new. Yeah. All right. Well, Gary, thank you so much for um, submitting your domains and for your generous research uh, re donation for cancer research. Um, I know that the Sherpa Network can learn a lot from these. I um, hope the review has been helpful to you, Gary, and uh, your domain investing activities going forward. And we hope to keep in touch and uh, hear how this uh, feedback helped you, um, any updates to your strategies, et cetera, keep in touch. Um, before we jump into the domains going to auction soon, I'd like to tell you about our sponsors who support us in our educational mission. Finally, if you're a domain name investor, don't you have unique legal needs that require domain name technical know-how and industry experience? That's why you need Stephen Lieberman of Greenberg & Lieberman or Jason Schaefer of Esquire.com. Go search for Jason Schaefer or Stephen Lieberman on Domain Sherpa, watch their interviews, and you can see for yourself that they can clearly explain issues, can help you with buy-sell agreements, deal with website content issues and UDRP actions, and even help you write your website terms and conditions. Stephen Lieberman and Jason Schaefer are the lawyers to call for internet legal issues. See for yourself at Esquire.com or APlegal.com. Uh, we're going to move on to the marketplace list. This segment is sponsored by Namejet. We're reviewing um, all .com domains headed to auction soon. 
If you like one of the domains below, you can click through the links at the bottom, but click through soon because once they go to auction, you lose your chance to put in a minimum bid or even just to watch what's going on in the auction. Um, the links below go directly to Namejet. They're not commissionable. Um, they just wanna see what kind of traffic we're sending them. Um, so for transparency, we always start out asking if any of the Sherpas own or are brokering any of the names, including any that might be on page two. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I am no. not brokering any of these, no. 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 Okay, cool. Well then back to our Sherpa network. If you're watching the show, now's the time to press pause. Um, you know, if, you're, if uh, you've got it going on in the background tab and you're listening, just uh, press pause, look at the domain names, pick your top three, your bottom three, price them, and then come back and listen to the Sherpas. Um, it only takes a couple minutes, but it's taking that moment that grows your perspective. Uh, so once you've, uh, you know, actually committed your mind to thinking through it, writing down the numbers, then hearing our Sherpas perspectives can really help you evolve your thought process. Um, Drew, you're up first on this one. Uh, what do you got? What do you think? Oh, and I was wrong. It's not all.com. We've got a one, we've got org and one.net. Um, so, uh, Drew, what are your thoughts? So, um, you know, fairly, fairly good list. Uh, there's a few names that sort of pop out at me. Um, you know, the, the one that's sort of, sort of really obvious is geographic.com. But it's one of these names where I fall in love with it at first, but I, in the end, I, I'm not 100% sure that's a great name because of sort of, sort of opposite of what we were saying before. So, so you've got National Geographic out there, which is really just owns that space. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so geographic.com, even though it could have totally different implications, I, I just feel like you're always going to be hindered uh, by National Geographic. But... It's a one word.com. It's, it's, it's widely recognized. Um, you know, it's got decent value. Um, but definitely you just be conscious of where's that name going to, you know, wh where's the final home for that name. Um, tty.com just, you know, great three letter.com uh, probably has a lot of great acronym meanings. Um, ultimately though, really what you need is a, a big company with that acronym. Um, but you know, those are, we know what that's going to sell for. That's going to go probably for 30 to $40,000 range on name jet. <coughs> and, uh, you know, you hold that long enough, you'll probably do well with it. Um, you know, I, I was torn probably the name actually that I, that really popped out at me the most on this list is raincloud.com. And for whatever reason, I really like that name. But I have a hard time because it has this negative connotation and I, I'm not sure anybody's going to ever get over that. If I'm trying to brand my company and even if I somehow fell in love with the idea of calling my company Rain Cloud, somebody's going to tell me, look, it's too negative. You're not going to, you can't do that. So I, I don't know that name, if that name ever finds its, its real home, but I got to say, I really like it. Just it's Rain Cloud. I, I, we own raindrop.com and we get a ton of inquiries on that name. Um, I, I kind of like Raincloud. I, I really do. I'll, I'll, I'll bid for it. If it goes cheap enough, I'll buy that. Um, and then, yeah, I'll leave, I'll leave the rest. There's other names on here that I like, but I'll, I'll, leave, them, I'll leave them to these guys. Um, you know, Vespas.com, I think you probably got to be real careful with trademarks on that name. Oh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> you know, but there, the thing is, though, is, uh, I think it's I, IAC um, owns a whole bunch of forums and, and uh, fan sites around car brands like Mustang fans and, and uh, a bunch of different like big um, iconic car brands um, or iconic car models that have, you know, have sort of that, that cult following and they have these fan sites, forums and whatever, and they are able to do that. You, so with Vespas, you also have a cult following. And so there is a play to be made. I mean, somebody could create a sort of uh, fan site around Vespas of people who, you know, create a community there. Problem is if you try to monetize it, I, you, I think you're going to run into problems. So I, I would be very hesitant and get a legal opinion on Vespas.com before, you know, laying out any kind of real money on that. Um, and uh, yeah, Los Angeles teens.net, like, 
I think it's zero, to go with value. the dot com. Even the dot com, you know, it's like <laughs> <laughs> you got. I mean, especially when you get into a situation where really it's not even worth talking about these names, right? They're garbage. But it, it, it's a good. It's a good. It's a good situation to discuss one topic really quick. LosAngelesTeams.com. Now, is that name worthless? Probably not. I mean, is there a use case? There's a few. Um, but who's going to buy that name? It's going to be some organization. Um, even if it's a for-profit, it's going to be, you know, limited. And when they're evaluating their domain, their domain name is not going to be as important to them as, say, Amazon.com is to Amazon, right? And so it's like, they're going to say, well, what are my alternatives? And they could have LATeens.com, LATeen.com, LATeens, you got .org, you got .net, you got new TLDs. And this name, you know, a miracle happens and it sells for $1,500 or $2,500. So if you've got 20 other very plausible alternatives to this name, the chances of you ever selling it for any price are very low because there's always going to be available alternatives. So always be weary of what are the alternatives to the name I'm buying? Because if there's a lot of alternatives and they're cheap, you, you, you know, you, you're up against a brick wall. You're never going to sell that name unless lightning strikes. Good point. Good point. All right. Um, thank you, Drew. Uh, Larry, what are your thoughts here? Uh, there's a couple of names I found very interesting. Uh, well, TTY, definitely. Uh, I think that's, that's a prize. Um, I mean, there's a couple of things that's there. I think talk to you. Uh, it means uh, uh, there's also TTY has something to do with, I think, text um, with hearing. Uh, t I think it's texting or a text-based system for communicating over phone lines. So um, I know a lot of hearing aids. It's one of the things they talk about. Um, so uh, that, that's, a very, that's an interesting name. I think definitely it's a six-figure name. Um, I think true. That's the one you said would go in name jet uh, for an easy, you know, typical 30, 40,000. I, I think so. I think that's probably yeah. where so we land. The wholesale. Yeah. So yeah, yeah I, I, I think that's, that's definitely worth the name if somebody wants to hold on to for six figures. Um, the rain cloud struck me like Drew, the same thing. You just, it, I, I know it's sort of a negative connotation, but I, I just like it because it's not only is the cloud business, which is, which is hot, but, uh, it's a name you'll you remember, you know, it's not just like yeah. any cl rain cloud, uh, you know, yeah. so it, it's, it's, it's remember, I, I'm not really, uh, huge on a lot of brandables, but I like that. I thought rain, rain cloud is a, is a nice name. Uh, I like trusted names, but that, dot com, but that's more for the business we're in. I mean, yeah, I like names like that. Like recently I bought a name, namebuilder.com that was on a drop recently and, uh, to, to use for a future project. And, uh, I don't know. A trusted name sounds like that type of name too. That that could definitely be used in our industry for for a project. Um, builds I thought was interesting. Normally, uh, plural on like this, you know, um, build is great. Builds to me, it'd be more technical. Uh, maybe people you're doing some sort of uh, software build or redesign or um, it, it, not not not. I wouldn't say it's a very expensive name, but it's a name that. Definitely has some value. Um, those, those really ones stuck out. I'm with you on the team thing. I uh, I know the net went with the dot com, but you know after a while your registration fees, you know after all these years, pay, are, are more than the name are worth. Uh, yeah. But I I, th I think there's enough good names there, especially with the TTY hanging it up. And uh, the other one, Zoma. I know there's a number of restaurants and other businesses with those name with the Zoma name. So. That's something that uh, I think is also uh, worth worth <clears throat> to look at and bid on. Shane? Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. Well, real, real quick, sure. I, I should mention, we were previously brokering builds.com, but we are no longer, our contract just ended like a week ago, and we have nothing to do with the listing on names yet. But I just thought we should mention that in case anybody noticed that we were previously. Just, just curious, just get an idea. What was the name like that price that? when they were on the brokerage? Um, so I think the asking price might have been $75,000 and I, I won't disclose. No, 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 yeah, that's what it just was. But um, yeah. Okay. So people can now see, you know, when it goes to an auction, 
what happens compared, you know, yeah. obviously they're not going to get anywhere near uh, what no. someone like you can get. Um, but it's also up to the seller what, you know, what type of reserve he puts on it. So yep. interesting case. case study yeah. right now. Drew, if I made the asking price was 25,000. That was the ask? Yep. Or the reserve? She knows. The ask. Okay. Yeah. Um, thanks, Shane. Vote of confidence. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say if I have to if I have to ask who's got the better memory, I'm going with Tess on this one. <laughs> it's not the memory; it's the spreadsheet. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you have you have a distinct role, and one of them is you just named. You know your prices and keep all that, or yeah. Yeah. And that's yeah. why you're that's why you're on board right there. <laughs> um, oh, you guys are good. All right, so so my turn. Um, your turn. Yeah, we're, we're all in the same boat. I mean, I, the first thing I saw was Vespa's. You couldn't give it to me. I don't want to mess with it. I got other things to worry about besides getting letters in the mail. So, yeah, we could talk all day about what you could do and what you couldn't do and what you need to do. You, I told you how busy I was. I don't, I don't have – there's better <laughs> names to play with that don't have somebody who's built an entire brand for 40 gener or four generations on. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, I stick away – stay away from that. Rain Cloud I love. We have a um, – we have a rainstorm car wash that has like 70 car washes in our area called rainstorm. It, it's fantastic. You met, you know, it's rainstorm. I'm pretty sure it's rainstorm.com and rain cloud can work, you know, car wash easy. There's lots of uses for rain cloud and it's, you know, it doesn't have to be that little puffy cloud. That's black. Like what you think of it. Can, it can be a different brand and it's all about memorable, good or bad. Uh, yeah. I think if somebody from mad men comes in and tells you, you need something more positive, that's probably true. But the internet's a little different. We've made a lot of good brands out of things you wouldn't think uh, it would represent that company, and they've done real well with it. So uh, I, that's one of my favorite names on there. Zoma's easy. It's a great investment. CVCV names, regardless, are just not going down. Um, I will say, and again, this is just my my perspective, but they don't sell as quick as you think. Uh, the, the, I don't know why it is. I mean, I had D-O-W-O -O and B-O-W-O -O and lots of CVCVs over the years, and they didn't get quite as many inquiries as I thought. But I will say I had 0% chance of losing money on them over the year. They only get more and more value. I think I sold, oh, I did, Vato. Remember Drew a long time ago had Vato, B-A-T-O? which is kind of yeah. slang in, in uh, Mexican first yeah. brother. Yeah. Um, and I think I sold that to another domainer for double what I paid. So it's, it's always there with a CVCV. Uh, TTY, I mean, I don't have to say anything about three letter.coms. You're not going to lose there. Hated Los Angeles teens. Those are the kind of names you sell to another domainer thinking that they can do something with it. I mean, we've said this on the show many, many times, but there's a lot of ways to make money in this industry. And one of them is to sell your names to other domainers who think they're smarter than you or can sell something on the, and you or know, don't you put listen to the domain Sherpa. <laughs> if they listen to Sherpa, they, yeah. I mean, it, that's life though. Everybody thinks that they're a little, they're a little bit better than you or, you know, I, I always say this when I, when I have designers design something, I could hand somebody that won the design of the year award right. for the world and then hand it to another designer like, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work. But everybody just thinks they're a little better than the next. And that's, that's yeah. fantastic. So I think Los Angeles teens is, I would never touch it. I don't know why anybody would have it. Small value, but, but it'll probably sell at auction. And hey, you get the dot net with it. So why not buy it? <laughs> Oh, I thought you were buying the .net and getting the .com for free. <laughs> they have the same value, in my opinion. So I, it's, it's pretty good. Uh, trusted names is just for our industry, but that helps quite a bit. I like names like engineering courses that are just so general. I just don't know what you – like, I think online education is huge. Yeah. But, but I don't know you – know, I can't think of something better. You know, normally I can say, you don't buy that generic, you get this. But I'm not sure where you go when it comes to try and specialize and find somebody uh, do online courses. So I don't really have an alternative. It be a good marketing. I talk about on my blog all the time, marketing name. Names that you're not going to build the whole brand around, but you can have something that leads to your site if that's what you do. So, um, you know, if you specialize in engineering courses, you might buy the name just to to have a type in and bring people over exact match. And it's worth the expenditure just for pure marketing reasons alone. 
but online education, it, it's as big as it gets. And I, I, I have a lot of professor friends and the, even the big universities are pushing it. They're saying, I'm going to let you teach an online course. And after 30 students, you get to keep 50% of the revenue of anybody that signs up after that. So they're giving professors incentive to build this, even at huge Illinois, Purdue, all these guys, or all these MIT, universities. MIT, Harvard, everybody. All of them. everybody. It's not just Phoenix anymore. It's no, everybody. No, no, no. Everybody. Yeah. And then these professors, if a professor gets 50% of the revenue from a $1,200 sign up, he might buy engineering courses and put a little money into it and bring people to his course. So there's a whole new, a whole new industry out there that's we're in the beginning. It's going to be huge. Um, I mean, you just have to look at the cost per click and uh, you know, it's a t over two bucks that tells you that there are people bidding for that keyword on Google and that you out there somebody somebody wants that name okay yeah. nobody mentioned bible academy or i don't know what you do with it but i kind of like the sound of it mystery match i, I like math. i like love temple yeah no i think I, that's I, adult I, all the way i mean love temple is like the best online sex store i could imagine lovetemple.com <laughs> That is a that is absolutely a great plastic store. <laughs> <laughs> but you read about Bible Academy. That one, you know, it does have a something about it that um, you know. And there's lots of people that go. I, I have friends that travel to Houston with thousands of people and pay good money to go to Bible Academy. Okay, I am very not religious, mm -hmm. um, and if I were religious, it would not be. Uh, in that vein. However, uh, Bible Academy, I also was like, BibleAcademy.com, great. But then you look at it and there's no search, literally zero search, zero advertisers. So I, I don't know, like I actually, I, I made a note when I, when I looked at it last night and I was like, what, why? What, what's going on? There's something weird there. There's something we're missing because there's zero search. And, and, and you know, I don't know. Well, Something, something is, is, I mean, it looks to be spelled right. I don't yeah. know, but Bible Academy, how, how can that name have zero search and no advertisers? Well, they're probably looking for, you know, something in front of that, something, something Bible Academy and not just on its own. Cause this, that's maybe too general. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. If you said it generally, you'd probably say I'm looking for a Bible class or a scripture class, yeah. not an Academy. And you're right. Then if it's an Academy, maybe it has a name. I think, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, you know, memorable, but generic, not really brandy, but, um, I like it. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the other like mastering math is not mastering match. It's mastering math. So, so there are two. There's mastering math, which I think people who are struggling in math might be intimidated by the idea of oh, math. Oh, right above it's mystery but then math. The other yeah. one, yeah, mystery match. I like yeah. that. Don't you guys like that? What would you do? Yeah, no, that's, I, I that's like called it. Tinder. Yeah, yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah. Any, any, you know, any name that has that iteration, like like we talked about, um, uh, uh, what was the one that Larry and I liked before? The rain cloud or the no uh, free uh, uh, free fancy free fancy free yeah. Yeah. fancy free mystery match you know they, they they make great brands right fancy free is a known expression so it's a better brand but mystery match that's a phenomenal brand the problem is like you gotta wait till somebody decides I'm gonna be called mystery match so that you know there's they, they, you know maybe there's people out there called mystery match already that you could solicit but then you run into trademark problems, right? Because it is, it's not, uh, well, you'll learn all about that. You know, this is actually an exact case of what we discussed with uh, Larry, Jason, and Ari uh, on our legal review that'll be published soon. But um, Mystery Match wouldn't be, gen you know, uh, generic enough for you to defend, I think. If you, if you solicited somebody called Mystery Match, I think you got a high chance of, of getting yourself in hot water. Yeah, um, if there's a trademark out there already. But if there's yeah. that's the kind of name, I would buy if it wasn't too much and just hang on to it. Absolutely, but that's the play. Is you, you, only, you can only buy that name for the right price and then hang on to it. But it is a phenomenal brand when the right buyer pops up. 
Mm-hmm. And it's not going to be a dating site because Match will never let that go. Yeah, that's absolutely true. Yeah, it will not. It's You can take that category out on those. So, uh, yeah, I think we touched them all. So we, we completely ruled that Los Angeles teens was the dud of the group. Oh. <laughs> I got <laughs> snuck in at the end. Yeah, that, that uh, much, yeah. That, that didn't work out. Um, okay, um, so guys, we're at the end of today's show. Thank you, especially Shane, on such a busy day. Um, I'd like to give each of you Sherpas an opportunity to share anything you have going on in your lives, personal or professional, any brokering, selling opportunities you wanna talk about, uh, anything at all. Uh, what's going on? Larry, uh, you, you're up first. Uh, it's just the same old, same old uh, number of, uh single one word dot coms uh working on uh first one pops in my head is stars.com so you know uh feel free to give me a call if you if somebody wants to discuss um uh, so that you know anybody well, else wants or send to you a fax oh you know, you know what i'm out of paper <laughs> <laughs> Let, too many offers coming in today <laughs> gotcha and larry where are you by the way uh, I'm in my basement. Oh. <laughs> Are you in, in New York? I'm in Brooklyn, New York, heartland of the country. All right. Thank yeah. you for joining yeah. us from Brooklyn. Hey, anyone in New York, call me. Stop by. Uh, for that sure. Uh, thank you. You want to go see Tinky Boots on Broadway together? Oh, <laughs> only if we buy a mystery match. <laughs> uh, Are you coming into? Are you coming into the city? I always come in to see, we go in and for two days and my wife and I see four plays every what, what, year. Really? What, wow. When are you coming in next? Sometime probably in the fall. Usually it's in the fall. My wife loves plays and there's nothing better than just flying in and seeing four Broadway and then we leave. It's, Have you seen Hamilton? I saw wow. Hamilton. I did see Kinky Boots last time. It was, <laughs> it was fantastic. I mean, I'm not, I was never a Broadway guy. But it's just good. They're just talent. You know, they, they're so good at what they do. It's, and it's enjoyable. I really did. Even Kinky Boots, I never thought in a million years I'd watch a transvestite dance around in high boots. But I came away, to, you know, singing for the next <laughs> day. <laughs> so, yeah, no, I'll definitely look you up. It's, oh, those are kind of, yeah, when, you make, no when you're making your plans, call me because maybe we'll go see uh, one of the plays together. I, yeah. I go to Broadway uh, at least two, three times a year. This show is all about connection. I mean, hey, if Tess can fly all the way to Urbana, I can fly to New York. That's not a problem at all. Hey, That's what I'm it's in. all about. I'm in. That's one of the nice things, you're right, networking. It's all about networking, knowing people. And, I mean, we, a lot of us, you don't really see the light of day. I mean, you do because <laughs> you have your uh, – Yeah, your, no, I exactly. But uh, it's, it's always nice just uh, reconnecting, and that's why doing a show like this, uh, you know, is great. Uh, I'm really good to see all you guys. Yeah, Larry, um, I'll definitely be in town for um, Name Summit in, in early August. So let's, oh. let's plan something. And definitely, uh, oh, well, if I'm you're sure. going to a show, I, I want to see a show. That sounds great. I'll be at Name Summit also. So we'll, we'll definitely get together. Cool. All right. Uh, Shane, you want to shout out to anything else? No, just uh, DSAD. And I, I, I am going to break a world record. I forgot to mention this. So I'm going uh, to break a record here with... So I've got a domain called Flying Gopher, and I'm going to give it to someone, and I want somebody else to give it to someone else, and I want it to be the most owned name in the world, in the history of the world, by having somebody else give it to somebody else, and eventually the who is will be the longest who is ever recorded for a domain name. So that's my, I'm going to break the world record. I don't know you what it is. got to make sure that we, every time it transfers, that it's going to be documented. Do a, you got to go in and do a who is lookup so that it gets cached. Well, I think you better yeah. hurry up before GDPR makes who is unviewable. I'm just going to, every time it transfers, I'm going to make them email me and then I'll just document it myself. Do you know, do you know what the, uh, what the record is? Like how many, how many, how many records do you need? I can't, I can't get, I mean, if it goes 50 times, there's no domain in the world that's been transferred more than 50 times. You think? Yeah. You think mm-hmm. so? Mm-hmm. Well, okay. So domain I, I tools. Think you'd have to get up into the hundreds. Uh, what domain would transfer a hundred times? Okay. Domain tools. If anybody at domain tools is watching this, can you scrape your site? Give me the number. So I have something to beat and we'll, I'll give domain tools all the credit. We'll put it at the top, but 
I'm going to make flying gopher the most popular transfer domain name of all times. There we go. That's my new thing. That's my whole job. I'm quitting the nursery. If you don't have goals, you don't have anything. <laughs> all right, Drew, tell me you got something more going on. You can't be better than that. Uh, yeah. Uh... I'm, you know, not, not much. Honestly, I, I, I'm about to, uh, you know, jump off the cliff here. We're, we're leaving Panama in 18 days from today. By the time the show airs, it'll be about two weeks away um, or less. And uh, moving the family to Portugal. We'll be living in Lisbon. So anybody coming through Lisbon after August 1st, you know, give me a shout out. Uh, love to see you. Um, and, uh, you know, media options is, is, is smoking. I mean. Uh, Chris primarily uh, gets the credit there. He's just doing a phenomenal job selling an absolutely absurd number of domains right now. Um, and uh, that's it. You know, I'm, I'm super happy uh, to have uh, Larry back on the show. Shane, huge thank you. I know today was not ideal for you. Um, but uh, man, you you know you are a crowd favorite, so it's good to have you back on the show always. <laughs> Rough crowd. And, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know I set the bar pretty low. <laughs> That's right. Um, but uh, yeah, and thank you, Tess, for all the hard work. Honestly, you guys have. I'm speaking to the audience. You guys have absolutely no idea what goes in. I mean, we had no idea going into this. <laughs> what goes into the production of this show? It is. It's, it's a lot. It really is. It's a lot. And, and, and to Siger's credit, you know, the man is methodical to no end. And, you know, he had it down to a, uh, to a science. And though it, it, it's, it's, it's hard. Uh, this is hard. These are hard things to produce. Coordinating people is, is one of the harder aspects. But, you know, all the, um, all the various uh, pieces that have to come together to put one show together. It's a lot. It's hard. And so Tess gets huge, huge props for, uh, for putting it together. And, uh, you know, I think we're finally coming into uh, our own. And uh, Tess is hitting a groove. And, uh, yeah, we hope, uh, you know, the show, the show goes on. And, and, and I think the quality is just going up. So, um, well, except for having Larry on the show. That's, you know. <laughs> I, I understand that totally. I understand it totally. <laughs> but anyways, thank you to everybody, really. Yeah. Okay. Well, I really liked on our last review, Amar asked me what was going on and yeah. I'm going to add that in from now on. Um, and I did not plan this out, but yesterday on my very long trip back from Urbana, which was wonderful. Um, I wrote a song while I tried to sleep and since Drew, since I tried to get you to sing earlier, and Shane, you just talked about singing a second ago, I can't even remember what. I'm like, you know what, it, 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 it's fate. I'm singing a song for this show, all right? You ready? You wrote this oh song. Oh boy. Go I wrote it. a song about GDPR. Like, this is what domain geeks do. When <laughs> the only GDPR ever written. Is there, any, is there any music underlying this song? It's it? um, Bye Bye Miss American Pie. Uh, all right, let's go. I don't know why that was in my head. I don't know why I was thinking about GDPR. All I wanted to do was sleep. That and was my gra my high school graduation class song was Bye Bye Miss American Pie. Really? But, but all Tess, right. is gonna, Tess is doing this in a hip hop version. Yeah, that's oh, what I was hoping No, for. no, I Brooklyn, gonna... that's all you, man. You can follow <laughs> me with the hip hop version right now. <laughs> what people don't realize is, you know, you look at Larry, you're like, yeah, geeky guy with glasses, fax machine. Yeah. But you don't understand. This guy's rocking like the hottest Jordans that are in the market all the time. Larry will be back there beatboxing while Tess is, Tess is rapping. So that, I was hoping for some of that, but I'll settle for American Pie. Yeah, yeah, Larry, give me, give me, give me some background here, man. Oh. Ready? So, I mean, G <laughs> <laughs> GDPR, I did not really under, like I know GDPR is some legal thing and I'm really grateful that we put together a show on it because I was like, gee, this kind of seems important. And now that I learned about it, I'm like, oh, shit, what is going to happen? And it seems like basically it's all about privacy and um, the EU is worried about privacy laws. So that's where this all came from. And now we don't know if the who is is going to exist anymore and nobody can figure out what to do about it. But May 25th of this year is like a hard stop. Um, so we got to figure it out. Okay. Yeah. 
that's the background to understand. Wait, 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 but when is that show happening? Because you haven't mentioned you're doing the show on that. Is that showing soon or has that showed? It's already been it's, filmed. It'll be air when, when will it air? I don't know. I'd have to walk over there. Probably next week. Great. Looking forward to it. I think everyone should look forward to that. Agreed. Yeah. No, Thank two you. weeks because next week okay. for sure um, is uh, Giuseppe and Ivan are going to come on and talk Great. about their quarterly report. Um, I think, but uh, yeah. Um, okay. Ready? Beatbox? Yeah. All right. Bye bye, Zuckerberg spy. Drove my iMac to the who is, but the who is went by. And GDPR makes us want to drink whiskey and get high, singing, This is the day the who is died. I like it. I think we can brush that up and make it go viral. And yeah. Bring, <laughs> and bring massive attention to the GDPR issue. That was well right. done. Yeah, yeah. So on that note, Shane, I think you have to get back to work. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, but I'm I hope recording. that resonates in your head the whole time you're working today. Absolutely. That was fantastic. I'm, I can't wait to you put it out so I can record it and then put a loop to it, a little background. <laughs> Oh, thank God it's at the I told end. You, I, I told you I have a sound engineer, gosh. so I'm going to just say, hand him and say, here's $50, makes this happen. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, thanks, guys. It's your for Network. See you next time. Bye.